So what happens to the kinetic energy of Einstein as he pulls his arms in? Or really, we're gonna define our system to be the person and the weights and the platforms since they're all spinning together and ask, um, does the kinetic energy increase, decrease, or stay the same? So uh, we already concluded from the fact that the angular momentum stays constant, that as the moment of inertia decreases, then the angular speed should increase in order to keep the angular momentum constant. So if we look at our original definition for kinetic energy, um, which based on this system, we're looking at rotational kinetic energy, and we know that's one half I omega squared. The problem here is that both I is changing and omega is changing, and, so, and they're changing in different ways. So uh, we could use this equation to figure it out, but we'd have to be a little bit more rigorous in our reasoning. Instead, I'd like to look at the equation L squared over two times the moment of inertia. Um, because in this equation, this version of kinetic energy, only one of the terms is changing, and that is the moment of inertia of the system. Because the angular momentum initially is equal to the angular momentum finally, so I'm just gonna call that L, the angular momentum of the system. So I start off with a relatively big number in the denominator, but then when I look at the final kinetic energy, now the number in the denominator has um, decreased, making the overall term or the overall kinetic energy increase. So as Einstein pulls in, the kinetic energy actually doesn't stay constant and increases, even though, again, there's nothing adding angular momentum to the system or taking angular momentum away, and there's actually nothing adding energy to the system or taking energy away. So why, where does that increase in kinetic energy come from? Well, uh, it comes from your muscles. You, just like with the baby push-up problem where you can't do push-ups forever, as we saw in uh, topic 5-1, with, with pulling these heavy dumbbells in, it takes energy from your muscles to do that. And so that decrease in energy in your muscles is corresponding to an increase in kinetic energy. So uh, the last example we're gonna look at today and the last question I want you to think about is if you stand on a platform and you have a bicycle wheel and uh, you're holding onto the spokes of the bicycle wheel, it's not connected to the rest of the bike and you get it spinning clockwise as viewed from above and then you flip it over, over the wheel, what will happen? And again, you're standing on this platform that is relatively free to move so we can use the fact that if our system is uh, the wheel, the person, and the platform, the angular momentum of that system must be constant. So um, I don't recommend trying to stand on your chair and do this experiment on your own, uh, but instead I want you to use physics to think about it and predict what you think will happen.